Gosh, hello everyone. I mean, <laughs> it's just been so long. I really missed you guys. Come on, thank you. Thank you. Um, anyway, so as he already mentioned, uh, just recently I came back from the trip to Sweden and Denmark. And as Swedes would like to tell you, uh, Sweden is not Switzerland and it's located way north in Scandinavia. And um, the trip was really amazing. I mean, both countries are very beautiful. And, you know, imagine just walking down the canals and the little boats and uh, yachts and cruise ships and people strolling down and kids playing and, you know, pigeons searching for tourists to drop some breadcrumbs and uh, parks with gorgeous fountains and uh, flowers. And anyway, so all that in the amazing weather it was mid-60s to 70s there. Sorry, Texas. <laughs> OK, OK, just to make you feel better. Winters there are actually quite cold. So and um, now, speaking of the weather, I think I must have been conceived on Venus, because anything below 78 is too cold for me. I mean. You should have seen it, like my husband was walking in t-shirt and shorts, and then I'm next to him wearing long sleeve blouse and kind of a warm jacket and a light scarf. Um, don't know what I would do there in the winter when it's below freezing. So um, when I go to Europe, I realize what my legs are for, because we walked for four to six hours a day. In America, people pretty much think their cars are for their legs are for pushing car paddles. And um, uh, also, the way that they greet you in Sweden, they say, hey. So when, you know, hotel employee, waiter, somebody come to me and say, hey, hey. And I'm like, are they drunk or something? I mean, I, they don't even know me. But, well, that's how they greet in Sweden, so. And uh, um, now, when I go to Europe, I leave my diet behind. And uh, you should have seen me eat three pastries and all kinds of bad stuff. And, well, when the pants are getting tight, I know I should go down to um, two pastries. So, um, now, as far as language is concerned, well, in Sweden they speak Swedish, and in Denmark, Danish. And they all have to study English, so they're pretty good at it. But as for me, um, I saw an ad in the bus, which caught my attention. It was two words. One was like Rea something, R-E-A. The other one was quite peculiar because it was spelled S-L-U-T and um, pronounced Lut, but that's not what I thought. So um, I was curious what that means to them. And um, they said it's like, like final, final sale. So. Um, yeah, we, we <laughs> uh, we, we, we saw many um, slots in Sweden, and every time, I know, every time just makes me smile somehow. Um, and also, I saw a taxi cab, and it said bandit on it, which in Russian means gangster. And what's more interesting is on the window, it said something like prison. And so I kind of wondered if that cab only takes you to one destination. But, um, you know, only to learn that it's kind of pronounced like prize on, and it just, you know, means a prize for a ride. So, um, now speaking of prices, actually, first couple days I was really scared because, you know, you want to eat lunch. And you look and it says 85, 100, 150, you know. But that actually is in Swedish crones. And you have to divide that by seven, because it's seven crones to a dollar. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> and actually, what's interesting is that is the actual price, including tax and tips. So that's the final number that you're going to pay. Kind of makes it easier <laughs> for calculation. And um, now, what I found really amazing in Europe, they have what's called sugar tax and fat tax. So if you're going to go and buy some kind of cheese or butter or candy or Coke, you know, you're going to pay extra for that. And uh, sometimes, actually, fruit is cheaper to buy than junk food. 
And also, I mean, American influence is everywhere. You go to any developed country and you got Burger King, Pizza Hut, 7-Eleven, everything. So, um, for instance, McDonald's, they actually have to cook in the healthier oil, in the one that does not use saturated fat. And the reason they have to do that is because it's the law of the country that you don't, you know, serve har harmful food. So something to look forward to <laughs> in here. And uh, we also went to many, you know, different islands and walked at the beaches and forests. And one of the islands, I was kind of wondering, you know, what if, like, nobody lived on this island, not a single person? And so I asked my husband, I said, imagine if this island was uninhibited. <laughs> now, that would be a kind of a different island, right? <laughs> um, I guess going back uh, to the country, I'm originally from Europe, going back to where they have kilometers, meters, kilograms, Celsius, got me confused all over again. And we were in a historical house and the ceilings were low and I said, just watch your head. And I was like, oh, that's okay. I mean, I'm just five meters tall. Um, that, that would make me f 15 feet, right? Um, and then also one time we, we saw, you know, those chocolates, they make individual chocolates. Now, when I saw 70 above them, I said, are they crazy? I mean, if you divide that by seven, you get $10 a chocolate a piece. And my husband said, no, relax. That 70 is percentage of cocoa that they use. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now, if there is one thing that I really don't like in Europe, it's having to pay to use a toilet. I mean... Some things should just be free, you know. I mean, what if you forgot your wallet, right? <laughs> um, now, it costs five to ten crones, depends where you are. But if you have two people, one after another, then you get a 50% discount. <laughs> and if you have a crowd of smart people and everyone is holding the door for the next one, then you get a real bargain. You know, it's that um, slot Ria situation all over again. Um, and uh, I guess the most embarrassing comment I made, I'm kind of glad I wasn't expelled from the country. We were in, um, in a nice furniture store in Sweden, really expensive furniture. And I said, well, you know, in Dallas they have Ikea. It's like your basic made in China stuff. <laughs> and, <laughs> And I said, by the way, Ikea is a Swedish store. Oops. <laughs> and, um, but in general, you know, the trip was really amazing. I mean, we saw all these cathedrals. Each one can tell its own story and castles. And just walking down the street and people strolling and, you know, little shops and restaurants. Everything was just really nice in an amazing weather. And now, back to Texas. 